Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Scrubs Garage. Today we're talking about tires, where the rubber meets the road. A popular question that always comes up on the track day forums is what kind of tires should I run for my track day? Of course, that's really going to depend um, on how advanced of a student you are. Uh, if you're just getting started out, uh, whatever's factory on the car uh, will work just fine. Make, just make sure you've got good tread down and the pressures are set properly. Uh, always inspect the sidewalls, make sure there's no cracking. Of course, you'd want to inspect even OE wheels. Make sure there aren't any cracks um, in the spokes of the wheel. Uh, make sure everything's in good shape. But of course, as you start getting faster, get a little bit more experience on the track, you'll want to step up to more of a dedicated track day tire. If you're going to run in a particular class, then obviously your tire choices are going to be dictated um, by what tread wear rating that you can run. Are you going to run an R comp type tire? Are you going to run a, a 200 tread wear rating? Uh, what's it going to be? If you're driving to and from the track, uh, then obviously that's going to be one consideration. Um, so what I'm running uh, are the Continental Slicks. <clears throat> Often what you hear people talk about, uh, you may call these race scrubs or takeoffs. Um, where these tires come from, uh, they come from different race teams. They'll run a set of tires, maybe for uh, a few qualifying sessions or a practice day, uh, and they use that first, you know, really good 10% of the tire's life. Uh, but when it comes to the actual uh, main race, then obviously they're going to swap to a brand new set of tires. Uh, they're sponsored by somebody like Continental, so they get a lot of tires for free. So they're not going to keep running the same tires that they used up in qualifying. Uh, but that doesn't mean these tires have to be thrown away, it just means that the very best part of their life got used by a race team. Uh, so tires like this, you can end up picking up for relatively cheap. Uh, you know, if you bought these tires brand new, uh, they probably cost you roughly 400 bucks a piece. Uh, on the other hand, I bought these from a, uh, a tire dealer that buys used race tires. Um, I got the entire set shipped to me for 400 bucks. And of course, that's going to vary depending on what kind of tire it is, the size of the tire, um, how many heat cycles are on the tire, and how much tread is left. Uh, obviously. Uh, these are used tires, so when it comes to you, um, there'll be gravel on it, there'll be um, chunks of molten rubber that have glued itself back to the, to the tread of the tire, but of course the first lap uh, will shed all of that off. Uh, so these are a really good option. They've worked out well for me. Just from a cost pers perspective, I run a dedicated set of track wheels. Um, these are a set of replica uh, C6 wheels. They are a little heavier than OE. Um, but they've served me well for the price that I paid for them. Um, but like I said, I put on a dedicated set of tires and wheels, uh, and I trailer the car to the track. So I don't have to worry about driving these uh, on the street, you know, two hours to the track. If that's something you've got to consider, then you might look at something like the Nitto uh, NT01. They're a great tire. Uh, if you got to drive and do kind of a dual purpose, I'm not sure I'd call it a daily driver tire, but if you have to drive to and from the track, uh, they certainly get you there and back, and they do just have a, a little bit of tread to them. Uh, so if you ran into a small amount of rain, uh, you wouldn't be stranded. Um, I've driven these slicks in the rain at the track, um, and it's not pretty. Uh, there's pretty much zero traction uh, when you run slicks in the rain. So I hope that gives you just a little bit of insight. There are a lot of tire options out there. Uh, it depends on what you're going to do with the car, whether it's track days, autocross. That's certainly going to influence your decision. Uh, what size tire that you can run, um, these are 275, 35, 18. Uh, I run a true square setup, which means that your uh, rims and tires are the exact same size, both front and rear, and which for a C5 Corvette or any of the Corvettes, um, obviously that's a change from the OE with the staggered uh, 18s in the back, 17s in the front. Um, I run, like I said, a square setup, which allows me to rotate the tires. I'll get a little bit more life, uh, particularly at the shoulders of the tires, um, by being able to, to rotate them. But again, these are all things you just have to consider. Apologize, my battery died. But in conclusion, like I said, uh, there are a lot of good tire options out there. Uh, like I said, race scrubs work well for me. I've got a dedicated, dedicated set of track wheels uh, that I'm not overly concerned if the brake dust uh, eats up the finish, uh, and I should get a pretty decent set of life out of these tires. Um, I may end up heat cycling them out uh, before the tread is actually gone. What we'll see, but I hope this helps. Uh, gives you some ideas for when you're trying to pick your track day tires.
Thanks for tuning in. Hit like and subscribe at the bottom. We'll see you next time.